Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So I'm going to be explaining the foundation of Islam. So what is Islam all about? So the foundation of Islam is this one sentence that la ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. That there is no God except Allah or there is no deity apart from the one true deity and that Muhammad is the servant and messenger of Allah or is the messenger of Allah. So the Islam comes down to believing in these two things. To believe in the one true God and number two, to believe that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. So once a person believes in these two things, then they have become a Muslim. Okay, so now the word Islam. So second thing. So now the word Islam, what does Islam literally mean? So Islam literally means submission. It means to submit to the one true God and his commandments and his obligations and so on and so on. And a person that submits to God is referred to as a Muslim. So the word Muslim comes from the same word as Islam. So Muslim is a person that submits himself or herself to the will of God. So that's what the word Islam and Muslim literally means. Okay, so now the next thing we need to understand about Islam, Islam is not a new religion. So we believe that all the prophets in the past were Muslims. So as a Muslim, we believe in Adam, the prophet Adam, we believe in the prophet Noah, um, let's, you know, Jacob, Isaac, um, you know, Job, you know, all of these prophets. So generally, as Muslims, we believe in the biblical prophets like Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and so on. And the difference is that we believe the final messenger to be the prophet Muhammad. So we believe he was a continuation of the previous prophets. So now, as our belief as Muslims, we believe that all the prophets in the past were Muslims. Why were they Muslims? Because the word Muslim literally means to submit to God. So all of the prophets in the past, they submitted to the one true God. So Islam is not a new religion, but it's the con continuation of the same religion that was given to the prophet Adam, to the prophet um, Noah, to the prophet Jacob, Isaac, Zechariah, and so on and so on. M Moses, Jesus and the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So Islam, number one, we need to understand, is not a new religion, but it's the continuation of the religion that started from Adam alayhi salam. But then the question arises, okay, but the Muslims, they do things differently to the Christians or to the Jews or, you know, to what's in the previous scriptures. So now, what we need to understand is that prophets, when God sent prophets, he sent them with two things, to teach the people two things. Number one, is beliefs. So the prophets, they came and they taught to the people the correct beliefs that who is God? What are the attributes of God? What do we need to understand about God? And they taught the people about beliefs regarding, let's say, the hereafter, about heaven, about hell, about um, reward and punishment, and so on and so on. So what the prophets, they taught the people in terms of beliefs in the unseen and so on. And the purpose of our life is to worship Allah, to submit to God, to obey God and so on. So this was all the same. The same message was del delivered by Adam, by Noah, by Moses, by Jesus. And finally, the last prophet, Muhammad, peace be upon him. But what was different from prophet to prophet or from messenger to messenger was that the messengers would be sent with different laws to suit their times. The laws that Moses came with was different to the laws that Jesus came with. And the laws that Jesus came with was different to the laws that the Prophet Muhammad came with. Why? Because laws are there to suit the people according to the time and place that they're in. So even in this country, for example, in the UK, the laws that we have today are very different to the laws that existed 100 years ago. So when times change, when people change, then laws need to be different to suit the time and place of, that, of those people. So likewise, we believe that different messengers came with different laws. So this is what makes this is what makes a person think that Islam is a completely new religion and it's got nothing to do with the religions of the past. But no. So we believe that Muhammad, may peace be upon him, was given a new set of laws for the people of his time. And since he's the final messenger, these laws were structured in a way that it's suitable for every single person, man and woman, child and adult, 
for until this world ends basically so this is what we believe about islam and the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so number one islam means submission a muslim is a person who submits to god and islam is not a new religion but it's a continuation of the religion from adam alayhi salam until the final messenger the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam jazakumullah khaira